um, make sure that we understood what the message is today and to apply ourselves to what the message is saying. Amen? We want to know your understanding and we want to also we would want you to share with us all so it's interaction time, discussion time about the first message that we listen to which introduces what we want to do in this year 2024. Amen? A few things has been uh, already announced what the movement is doing. The direction that the Lord is leading us. And this message clearly, I believe, presents it. So, we want you to check yourself. At what stage are you? Do you have the burden? Has the burden led to any vision? Are you interested? Do you want to be part of the action? I know a lot of people are already because God has already released this spirit in many and some has caught it already. And some people already have plans on what to do on what they are doing or what they are thinking. So we will be happy to receive from you to hear from you what you have picked from the message. As the message was going on, my spirit was was walking hard, was going far. <laughs> Amen. I was trying to wear the shoes of Nehemiah. I was thinking how are we going to do this? Because if Nehemiah did it, we can do it. Amen? In fact, we should be able to do it much, 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 much better, more powerful, and bigger than what Nehemiah did. Amen? Why did I say that? Because we have Jesus. Praise the Lord. And Jesus says that which has been done. You can do much. You can do much, much better can do much, much more. So that's what I was thinking. All these broken walls in Nigeria, can somebody wake up in Europe and go there and rebuild it? Praise the Lord. All these broken families, after this place, will you go back and rebuilt all these mistakes that we have made for the past years. The vision should be made very clear before you live here how you can reset things and put it in order. I want you to gear your mind towards that. Praise the Lord. Should. For the past weeks, I have been thinking like that because while I was praying and preparing for this conference, that's the direction the Holy Spirit took me to trace back the steps from the beginning to see some places that we, out of, uh, I don't even know what, <laughs> we just jump and pass and just avoided some things, run some other corners, ignorantly just did things our way and just carry on. My brother, in the Christian race, 
If you jump here, jump here, jump here, jump here, and reach there, sometime you will have to come back home and align everything in order. Because God does not jump any part. Amen? When you are doing your calculation, you will just use your mind and say, ah, this one doesn't matter, this one matters. You just cover it like this, cover it like that. God is not like that. Praise the Lord. I'm telling you, God is not like that. God, everything is clear and thorough. That little part that you think uh, it can be covered, it cannot be covered, though. It cannot. Praise the Lord. It's not supposed to be covered. Expose yourself. That's God's standard. Amen. Restitution. That which was in the past. <laughs> you think it's gone? <laughs> now is the time to go and look at it again. Amen. So I want you to form the project in your mind, how you are going to do it. How are you going to arise and be among the examples that God will depend on in this end time revival? Amen? It must start with you. See, that's why we started with those messages. The project message and then the beginning. Repentance. Salvation than holiness. Because watchmen are holy people. Amen? So all those mistakes, all those things that we did our own way without settling down, sitting down to check up what should be done, what is right, cover things and cover things and move on, God is saying, sit down, look at them very well. He will show you what you have to do. Because I know many people have in their mind they want to do well. I remember there was one revelation that came before for the leaders in Horemo. And the Lord was saying that many of you are just say, saying to me, uh, have mercy upon me, have mercy upon me, have mercy upon me. But you're not doing anything about what you have done. They are just using your mouth to say, God, have mercy upon me. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> it's God saying this to leaders. Amen. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. And you have not done anything about what you're asking God to have mercy. God, there is no mercy on top of darkness. Amen? No. Righteousness, peace, all those things, they have done what? Kiss each other. They must come together. Praise the Lord. So, as you are seated, I want you to have a holistic overhaul of your life and what you want to do in the future. Because the power to do a great job for the Lord is available. Praise the Lord. Do you have any thought to reorganize yourself, your family, your community, your nation, your church, denomination as it may, call, may be called, for this end time, like Nehemiah did? Do you have the burden that all the people are going to hell? All, except insignificant number. Does that bother you? That your father, your mother, your brother, your sister, your uncle, can fall down now and die and go straight to hell. Does it bother you that you, inside that train or the flight that you are coming from to this conference that you are going back, do you know you can fly from that place and go straight to hell? Does it bother you Because when you enter a craft, you are very close to heaven. And it's easy to fall to hell. Look through the window and see. Look through the window. You perceive the, the smoke from heaven. But very close to hell. Inside that train, these Torino reckless drivers, they can take you to hell. 
does it bother you that if you meet Torino drivers that you might be going to hell? This is what Nehemiah was worried about. How can I be in Europe enjoying myself? How? And my people are going to hell. You know where he is working? He was working in Asurok. He was working in the king's palace as special advisor to the Oga. He is inside the Oga's bedroom and kitchen. Not special advisor, special assistant, sorry. SSA. Senior special assistant to the president in the area of foodology. That was Nehemiah. In the United Kingdom, we call it butler. The king's closest man. Before the king will eat the food, the butler will smell it and taste it. <laughs> Amen? And as he's testing it, the king will be doing what he's doing and looking whether his leg is standing firm. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> if he cough, <laughs> that food, the king will not eat it. And that man will be protected by every protection that the king has. In every corner. His mind can, will not even be allowed to shake. Because if somebody can enter his life, king is gone. Amen. One of the toughest presidents in Africa was killed by his butler. That was in DRC, in the, in the days of Zaire. Powerful president like this. The people have tried everything to remove the man. No way. They could not. It was his, the day the man was infiltrated. He was sitting down. He removed the same pistol he was using to protect the man and kill him. That is the level of protection that the man gets. But while he was in that place of power and splendor and beauty and authority, where was his mind? Among his people. How people are going to hell. Amen. I know that you're enjoying yourself. This euro that is, uh, I know it's only pound that is difficult to find. Euro is everywhere. People are just collecting euro and enjoying themselves. As you're enjoying yourself, remember the people. I'm telling you. I saw a great crowd last week. Ah, ah, people were enjoying themselves. My mind, I remember the smell of hell. smell of hell. I even dreamt, I saw that is, I smell it. I saw the ice that is broken from, people that are in the mortuary, they are burning in here for there is ice on their body in the mortuary. For all those people who have worked all their life for their body, the real thing is burning in here. The body is rubbish. Ice, they put it on the ground, crack and knock it out. So what is important for you? Would you sit as you are sitting down, set your mind to what can I do? Amen? And before what you can do for the people, yourself first. Hallelujah. Review yourself. You are your number one project. When they call those who want to repent in these days of sin, sin is suffocating us. I expect you to start, today is the first day to stand up and prepare yourself, to cleanse yourself. What about anybody here? Everybody is doing their own race. Everybody. 
I was talking to a husband and wife. <laughs> when I told them that everybody ran their race, the man and the pastor, they were angry with me. <laughs> I said, I, I wish God can, God, I was just praying, God, give me wisdom to explain to these people. They don't understand. Kai, big pastor like you. I said to these people, my husband and wife, there are two things you need to consider. Two things in this marriage. One is physical relationship. Marriage. Another one is spiritual relationship with God. These are two things. Separate. So, if, before you can be exercising authority and asking for all the physical things, have you, you settled the spiritual part? Is it a man in sin that will come to his wife and say, submit to me? In all things, you insane. And the wife of the pastor read the place. I was telling my wife, I said, I wish she can finish reading it. When she reached that place, she stopped. I said, Chai. <laughs> Is it not man love your wife as what? You can just say, wake up and say, man love your wife. That's not how it is. Wife, submit to your husband as what? Same thing. As unto the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you remove that other part, this other part cannot stand. It cannot. How can it stand? So you are here fighting. Love me. Submit to me. Giddy, 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 giddy. You cannot. You will kill yourself. And the wife was, when I told them that that's not how it was, the pastor asked me, what about, uh, does it mean that uh, unbelievers do not have a good marriage? I say, it depends on what you think is good. Mm. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Because what is good? Bible says, in every man's eye, everything is what? Wonderful. Everybody's eyes. But what you think is good, is it what God says is good? So I didn't go far because I see that every sentence I make <laughs> is trouble. <laughs> so I just keep quiet. Say, God, please help these people. Wife, you are fighting for your husband to be born again. Be born again first. Praise the Lord. Husband, you are fighting for your wife to be born again and be delivered. Husband, do what? Be born again and what? delivered. Praise the Lord. In the conference that we went, a wife brought the husband to the conference to be delivered. She thought it was the other churches that they normally go. And she did and came. God said, Madam, you are the problem of the man. <laughs> you are the Satan that holds the man down. You are the one bringing the man to be delivered. Another one, the man is about to die. The man swell up like this. Is any, was anybody in the conference? Pastor, you were there, Abby? In December. The man was sitting in, he can't walk. They had to carry him fat like this. And Jesus said, see this man you are seeing here? It's his wife that is making him like this. Praise the Lord. And that man, without understanding, he will fight for his wife and die inside Amen? Amen? Before you start thinking about Jerusalem, yourself first. That's why you are seated here in person. Praise the Lord. So when we talk about repentance and starting to do the work of God, it's personal. Amen. Praise the Lord. There is where fight will reach. Then the side of the Bible that says there is no marriage in heaven will show up. I'm just telling you about the trouble of last week. So forget about those things now. Let's address you. You, you are the number one project for revival. Amen. You are the what? Number one. You. 
We are shouting, Arise, O watchmen. Watchmen are made up of what? Watchman. Praise the Lord. Watchmen are made up of who? Plenty watchmen. <laughs> Amen. And who is the watchman? Who is the watchman? Eh, myself. Are there watchmen here? Okay, there are not many. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. I want you to bring everything down to yourself. If we recover you, you recover yourself, then we have a crowd to work with. Amen. Amen. When the children of uh, the army with Gideon gather themselves to go to war, they were ready to go. They were already going when God said, uh, Gideon, slow down. <laughs> These people you are carrying, there are how many? There are too many to do the work. Amen? Let's go and address them one after the word, the other. So count them. After they counted them, how many were they? How many? Well, I mean in the beginning, how many were they? How many thousand? Okay, let's start with 10,000. From 24 to 10,000. Then from 10,000 down to what? 10,000 was too much to do this work. It's a crowd. Crowd. They can't do the work. I told us that what we need to conquer a whole nation is how many people? 300 people. That's all. Amen? Not 10,000. Because 10,000 people will hide under others. Oh, we have come to work. When you reach where the work is being done, you will see who is working. There was one video, seminar video like this, work seminar video, where, <laughs> I don't know if you have seen it. This guy, <laughs> as work is going on. This guy, he's running everywhere. He's not touching nothing. As the people are carrying the load, he'll follow them like this. When they are dropping it, he'll follow the other people like this. He was sweating, he was running everywhere like this. <laughs> the camera was, camera was watching him. He did not do one work. But he was the busiest guy. He was sweating. When they wanted to promote, they promoted him. He's the one, he's the, he's the one talking. He, he said, take it easy. Don't break the thing. Don't break the thing. He's, he didn't touch nothing. It's easy when there are many people like that to do that, isn't it? Yeah, if it's a few people doing the work, if it's the two people carrying the work, can he do that? Yeah. No, that work will not be done. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Narrow it down to who? Yourself. What's your part in this business? I believe there will be a day when we will discuss your part in the business. Your personal commitment to this revival. I'm just setting the scene for the whole conference so that you can you will have a project in your mind. I have not come here. Though I came with my wife. I came with my wife. I'm talking about myself now. Amen? Uh, but my project is my project. Praise the Lord. My project is my pro is the project of my soul with the Lord Jesus Christ. I will do as much as possible to hold my wife as I'm going. But if she start dragging me, what will I do? <laughs> like this, I'll be going. Praise the Lord. <laughs> because if you just allow yourself to be stopped, now you cannot help the woman. Amen? You are not born again. How can you help her? You have not been sanctified. How can you help her? How? You have not lived holy before. Can you teach somebody holiness? Holiness is not story. It's real practical life. Somebody is helping you. You want to help another person. You cannot. My mother say, baby that they are carrying in the back. Just be relaxing there. It is not your portion to carry anybody else. If you do that, all of us will do what? 
fall down. The person carrying you, the person you are carrying, and the person he is trying to carry. Abba, we all fall down. So let one person go, straighten himself, get his legs strong, and then he can come back and carry the person here and start what? Running. Recover yourself. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. So that's my understanding of the matter. What about you? What did the Lord put in your heart in this Nehemiah project? All right, we'll move very quickly. Where is the microphone? Pastor Peter, you have it? Okay, bring it. You have it? Okay, all right then. So, okay, cool. Thank you. All right, let's pass it around. Who wants to start? Am I seeing? What is your understanding of the Nehemiah project to yourself? Do you have any idea of what God is requesting from you? Anyone? This is just discussion. We want to hear from you. Your own understanding. Unless you didn't watch the message. This way. Start from the beginning. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Amen. That is a Nehemiah for the repeating. The word I understood about the message is many more, and uh, God has been helping me one way to walk one way or other to really fulfill the purpose. Why he coming? Uh, uh, let me put let me some, put some tea, 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 some moves that I make, that I make like, uh, like uh, maybe, maybe to my to family. My family. <laughs> actually, actually, I wanted to. I wanted to I have some other synagogue of, of, of 70 years, 70 years course, 80, okay, 80 and after Jesus course. Course. Uh, uh, some of them are retired, 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 but they don't, but they don't know God. Know God. I, I, I started from, I started from making them up by getting, getting the radio, and this is a private Bible for them, and, uh, and uh, some other Some family, other family far, away. far away, and then, and then like, like grace of God, of God and they need to do it, raise them, raise them, and then they are, and then they are improving, and then and then the planning, as, planning well. as well, to have a, to have a something, something like that, by the time to bring them, to move them to, move them to, the, to, move them to the camp, by the grace of God, I have sent some, some already, to come, to come. Already to come. To come. I wish to be there. I wish to be there then I, I wasn't there. But I but we I did that. We that we we can, before we make all this symbolic. A lot of lots, lots, lots. Many, many have reached by the grace of God. This fire Bible, 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 Bible which I know they can make use of it. Use of I, it. Don't just, I don't just throw it away throw it like, away like a, it's a lot of money. I try to apply it. We don't because somebody somebody ignorant that doesn't know how to read and you are sending by the knowing you are. So, by the grace of God, by the grace of God, I am able to make someone responsible. It's a moving man now in Christ, by the grace of God, I will send him to the house. Hallelujah. So, many people have reached out to me. 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 That uh, the uh, grace of God, God is going on. on. It takes it that grace to be up, and I know by the power of God, 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 God I will make up. And, uh, and I keep on trying my best. Try best. Try best. Most, most of the time, it's not really. It's too much. It's too much. That is my language. Because there's no time that is not easy. It's always easy. Hallelujah. So I'm moving on, and they're consigned to my congregation as well. I will come in that area. Long, long years, years ago, maybe, maybe if I can, if I can have to spare well, well, maybe it's almost 40 years, 40 years at least, or, or there's a there's a decision that happened, happen. I'm not involved I'm not directly, involved directly. It's involved. It's involved. the guy that the guy involved, involved that, that puts me to that situation, to that situation is, dead is dead already now, but long, but long, long and, and went he went and, and stole this uh, for more something, Skip a month. Skip a month. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know this idea. You know, 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 you
claim it that way. That way. <laughs> the, the package, package, the package, package and throw it from the, 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 the window other side, window that side our, our house, like this, like this, this our house, house and say, hey, if we, if we, we, we do something in that thing. In fact, I think the thing is, before I know, before I know, exactly what it what happens. <laughs> but after a long year, when the restitution issue come up, my mind go there. Yeah, yeah. But watch me, the father, the woman is dead, the husband is dead, the first child is dead. Hmm. I now have to trace. I begin to send people that, please, I need the number of person. By the grace of God, I'm able to get them. Amen. And the, the word God used me to reach the boy at last, he opened my mouth, he was so, uh, they are Muslims. Even when he want to pray, say, I say, just say, thank you God for the blessing. Don't say, God bless me. <laughs> I say, forget that mentality. And he used Jesus Christ's name all the time to talk with me as a Muslim. And the, the blessing that God helped me, he, he, I, that God used me to bless him. I did not tell him that uh, this is what happens all the time, but God helped me to cover up that reduction in that way. So in many wisdom way, I cannot say all, because I know many people who have a lot of things to say. Yes, sir. In the many ways, uh, God has been doing his work, and uh, I'm moving on and follow what God really want me to do. And I believe, and uh, by his power, I will be able to do more and more, if possible, even to finish all in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for sharing. I know at the beginning of the message, yeah, pass the thing to brother. It says that Nehemiah is a lover of God. Amen? Before he was a lover of man. That was the first few sentences in this message. Nehemiah as a lover of God and his people. God first and what? His people. Because it's the love of God that brings up that burden for the people. Amen. So when you get yourself in proper alignment with God, then you will know how to get the people. Also love God so that they will join in that um, <clears throat> alignment with God Almighty. Yes, my brother, go ahead. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I bless the name of the Lord for for the message and for this great opportunity. Uh, by the grace of God, I try my best, but there, are, there is something I noticed because um, early last year I tried to send as much as DVD to families and friends. But I discovered that at the end, the, I don't know, I think they removed the, MP, the, the memory card I begin to use the MP3 for yourself because when you ask them how is the message, they can't really give you a specific thing they do with it. So by the grace of God, I plan this year that uh, each conference that will be going on in Abuja, I will try to, I will try to check if it's a women conference, I will send women, minister conference, I send ministers, then so on and like that, and by the grace of God, for this women conference that will be coming very soon, I have spoken to one of my uh, pastor friends before, um, to his wife directly, and I spoke to her concerning the conference that is coming up. I sent her the invitation when the player came out, and she was very happy and waiting for the time. And the other day, she reminded me that uh, she's still planning towards it, so I was very glad that she's willing and ready to go without fear and i pray that the lord will grant uh, grant me the grace to be able to accomplish that Amen. that when there is conference i should be able to send at least people to the campground amen amen thank you so much when there is burden <clears throat> then there will be vision and where there is vision definitely there will be action if you have no action that is to say, the burden has not arisen yet. If you have no plan to do something, you have not done anything, you are not planning to do something, that is to, to say you have to go back to bring yourself to the point where you understand 
that your inaction can send people to hell. Pastor. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, uh, it's a wonderful message from the Lord unto man, unto every one of us. Uh, but this uh, Nehemiah, he said he first of all loved God and he remembered his own people. I think uh, I want to use myself as an example. Uh, by special grace of God, I love God. But um, I only love God to bring this message to my twin brother, my the same uh, sisters. So because I grew up in the in the in the city, so while my parents have a lot of family members in the village, which from a child I do not like to me with these uh, villagers. So, so uh, to say. <laughs> so now, uh, as we are talking about my people, although they are, they are really my people, but I do not really mingle with them. So I only mingle with my few brothers and sisters that are around me. So I think of recent, uh, the Lord was trying to whisper to me that somebody want to die. So I don't, I don't really know the person and uh, until almost two weeks now they told me that my grandmom passed away so based on there is a big distance you know so i just felt that oh this woman really she went to her because she did not believe in her jesus so now uh i want to ask how that kind of uh, passing this message now to this kind of group of people because there are so plenty and many of them which uh, even my brother too don't like to uh, me go with them. So how am I going to reach them? How am I going to ask for their contact? The reason why I don't like to me go with them, like what I said, I don't, I do not just like me go with such a group of people. So I just like to be on my own. So with my few people that I that I know. So how is the matter going to be? Since now my grandma has passed away. Yeah. So that is it. Amen. Pass the microphone to. Um, my brother, Anoeska. Romero Anoeska, yes. Pass the book microphone to him. I will come to you in a minute because he will answer. He will answer his question. How did you manage to reach your people in Suriname? That is very far from you, and they are beginning there now. We are going to Suriname very soon. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How Hallelujah. did you do it? Just it's give my, us. It's the, my wife is uh, coming with this. Is she here? Yes. yes uh, uh, my wife, come and uh, pass the microphone to her. Then. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So, how did you manage to reach those village people? Well, uh, so, it started since 2021, but I'm going to talk about how we started this yeah. chapter in Suriname. Uh, I was at home, um, and all the time I was telling my husband that, uh, why are we delaying every time? <laughs> you know, yes, we will, um, you know, we will prepare things, but, you know, there's no time to waste, because... Every time I'm hearing people are dying and those people are dying without Christ and I feel Pastor, so bad. Pastor, are you hearing? I feel Every so bad. time people yeah. are dying. <laughs> Amen. Go ahead. So I feel so bad and I feel as if it is because of us. We are keeping the truth <laughs> away from them. Only us want to enjoy it. But we, that's, that's not supposed to be like that. We have to take it to, to everyone we could take it to to our people in our villages everywhere we can take it to in our country we have to think of them too that no not only me should go to heaven even those people that don't know the lord they don't know the truth we have to you know we, we don't have to think about money you can go we can start without money the lord will supply all the needs so Amen. so i was at home at, i was so bothered every time here uh, this sister died this the brother died, this uncle died this vision. auntie this granny died Amen. so i was so pain you know, I was feeling pain in my heart. You know, I was not feeling fine. Sometimes I just cry. So one time I was, one day I was at home. It was um, 2023 of December. So something was telling me that 
You people, you what are you people doing? You people are just, uh, you know, just here enjoying yourself. <laughs> people are just perishing out there. You just enjoy all the, the the goodness of the Lord. You don't care about those people that are perishing. So then, then, then um, I hear that uh, in my spirit that uh, at least you you, you 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 people can start online and then this year you can go to Suriname. So then now. Uh, I heard that, okay, start online, don't mind to tell your husband now, but start the chapter online, start the fellowship, invite people, and then, then you tell your husband, he will, he will just follow you. Okay. So, <laughs> so Praise I, the Lord. Yeah, Did I we was, understand yeah. what she's saying? Yeah. Uh, instead of waiting for your husband that is not ready, that will be asking you too much question, you just start. Amen? When you start, what will happen to your husband? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Let's put our hands together for the Lord. <laughs> First of all, it was the sentence that our brother made that God laid it in his heart that people are dying. It was the same thing that she had in her mind. We are just here, hearing this message, enjoying ourselves. People are dying there. What can I do? I'm living here in Europe. The people are over. Suriname is not here. <laughs> Suriname is far. <laughs> Very far. And after Suriname, there's another Suriname again. After the water down there. Moto doesn't go there. It's either you fly a helicopter or you carry wooden boat. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It's a long journey. But those people cannot die and go to hell. Somebody have to reach them. So, even if you cannot do big crusades, you can find one or two persons. You pay for them. In my village, I bought Wi-Fi. No, router. Router. I do the subscription every year. It's a lot of money. Every year. And it can take up to 60 people to connect. It's not expensive. Now that um, the currency there is wonderful. <laughs> Amen. 100 euro can do, ma can do powerful work over there. Now, 100 euro is how much? It's almost 170,000 naira. It's a lot of money. One year subscription is 150,000 naira for MTN. One year subscription. Then it was a lot of money. Now it's not anymore. Now it's 100 euros. From one person to two people, people want to go to heaven. People want to know God. They just need somebody to guide them. Many ways, you can, uncountable ways you can do it. But the easiest way for us is because God has already set up units all over the world. All you need to do is make contact to the overseer, to the chapter coordinator, to the unit that is nearest to that place and work with those people to set the place up. If there is nobody there, take from, when I started the one from my town, there was no one there. I took one from the headquarter, the head of evangelism in the, in the states. It was with him. In fact, he's the one that bought all the materials. I sent the money, he buy them, and we went together to the village too. There's always people around that you can use. There are some people, there's one person from your state that met me in Abuja. They told, somebody has told me that this brother is a powerful evangelist. Only what the brother, need, this brother is a brother wakes up every morning and go for tank crying with no uh, microphone. <laughs> it's somebody else that told me and said, this, there is a brother that if somebody can just buy him um, yeah, megaphone, yes, megaphone, <laughs> megaphone. He, he said that, that village will be saved. <laughs> he's, he's from Delta State. So they, I said, okay, bring the brother to me. And they brought the brother to me. Okay, I said, okay, they should find out how much it is. That time it was 14,000 naira. Megaphone, 14,000. Do you know how many chapters they have from that brother now? <laughs> when they were giving me testimony, just for megaphone. Megaphone only. 
There are people who are ready to work. We don't know. You just need to start. Just find somebody who see. They will tell you people around there that are looking for who to sponsor them. Some people, if they are ready to do evangelism, if their burden can be taken care of. Their burden maybe is to pay school fees for their children. Their body maybe is to buy shoe. Their shoe is, has, has become the other shoe. They just need something to wear to go for it in the night or early in the morning as it is. Just something small. But they have to be the burden to save people from hell first before all this. God will do the rest. Amen? God will do the rest. Contact the leader. Contact me. I will connect the man for the coordinator, the Chap, uh, chapter coordinator or the state of Basia or whoever is nearer to the area you want to, they will arrange something. Before, before the Naira became so bad, we used to do one million Naira project to start a unit in any part of Nigeria. So that one million Naira is to organize two or three or four uh, crusade in that town and then to set up a unit after all the crusades. That was last year. But now the Naira is so good. I, I think the money will be, <laughs> it, will be it will require more than, more than that now. And how much is that? That one is not, you don't even reach your tire for your car. <laughs> It's not up to that. You know this brother car. The tire is more than 1,000 euros. I know. I know myself. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It's, it's, there's nothing there. It's nothing. It's the body. God will provide. Praise the Lord. I know what I'm talking. I'm not joking. Though. I'm not. What I'm saying is a serious matter. <laughs> it's, it's, it, many people have done. Even here in Europe, I, I can call names. I know the people. I'm part of them. Why they are doing it? So it's not a problem. Amen. And it doesn't matter where it. Even in Vietnam, we should be going there. Praise the Lord. Pastor Lam, are you ready to go to Vietnam? <laughs> where the Lord leads. <laughs> Amen. Anywhere, anywhere, there are pe people are going to hell. What can I do? Amen. Start from yourself. Then go around your family, your coordinator. Yeah, your community. Praise the Lord. So it's the burden that will generate the vision. And when the vision is very clear, action will start. And where there is no vision, what will happen? Uh, the people will die and go to hell. That's what our sister said. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. So I really want you to put your mind to that. Remember the lepers that he mentioned? Remember the, um, what was the name again? Something steward. The unjust steward. Amen? Who remember the story of the unjust steward? Interesting. Only few people are listening. Amen. And the prodigal son, when, when he, he came, came back, back to his to senses and, and considered the trouble, trouble and the blood in all his, he saw the solution. I will, I will arise. arise. I will do, I will do what? what? Go to, to my family. family. Action. Action. God will hold you responsible for receiving the information and doing nothing. Amen. What did I say? God will hold you responsible for receiving the information and no action. It's very easy to take action. You know, we have been you know, saying this for two years. years. And many and people many have gone far. One of our one brother last year, wonderful. wonderful. And he was and saving he was the money with me. me. 
He was saving his money, 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 they organized in his own father's hometown, they organized in the local government, and they organized somewhere else. And as we are talking now, the units have started. Praise the Lord. Praise the, Lord. The, brother the brother is in France. In France. How much? How much? It's, not it's not money. money. Hundred euro. euro. You just, you just how, much how much do you need to, to get to one million? million. million. It's, not it's not much. Money. Now it's how much? Uh, Six hundred and fifty euros. You will save a whole community. Can you see how easy it is? There are people ready to work. They just need small action. In the December conference, the people came from there. When I did it in my village, four vehicles were filled. It's because I didn't have money. I would have brought at least eight vehicles from my village to Abuja. Just for a few small crusades. Just for small crusades, four vehicles, 18 seater, four, came from the village to Abuja. It costs nothing. Praise the Lord. The burden, clear vision, and what? Action. I want to be among the watchmen of God's at this end time. If you have that burden, God will bring it to pass. Amen? Amen? Some people are saving money to buy cars, buy house, buy clothes, buy aircraft that will kill them at the end. And many things at the end of the day is of no value. Your shoe can do a conference. Your shoe. Amen. <laughs> you can save a soul. Praise the Lord. Think about something and do something. I know many people are doing something. I know our brethren that are here. I've worked with them. Things are happening. <laughs> Amen. Things are happening. Don't be left behind. There's a song that says, When you reach there, do you have anything to greet Jesus? Anybody know the song? Anyone know the song? I like the song, but I don't know it well. Something to greet Jesus. Does anyone know that song? Ah. Yes. How can I go to Jesus empty-handed? I need something to shake his hand. He said, these people. You know, our daddy always say it, that when we reach there, we will have fellowship in his house. Amen? He always say it. He's always thinking, you know, what to present to God at the end. I want you to, be, to have that mindset and do something. Me, I'm ready to follow anybody to anywhere. I'm ready. Praise the Lord. I'm ready. Just tell me the place. Let's go. Amen. Even wherever it is, we are going. I'm ready to go. At least you have one partner on or, or me. Praise the Lord. I'm ready to go to Surrey now. We are getting ready to go to Surrey now. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Please get ready. Get ready. Hallelujah. Very soon we are going to Greece. Is our Greece brethren here, Pastor? Okay. They're supposed to arrive. And we agree when we are going. Be getting ready. Praise the Lord. We will go with Jesus everywhere. Oh, no matter Oh, yes, we must go. Will you go? We will go. Do something about it. No matter. Troubles we may face on the road we must. 
I say, I must go. Will you come with us? Here we go. it we cause I must go I must go I must go with Jesus everywhere no matter the troubles I want who oh, on the road I must go brother my sister will you go I must go that's what I said what about you what about you will you go And turn that into prayers and say, Lord, I have this burden. I want to go. I want to do something for you, Jesus. I want to win a soul for you in this year, God. Three, four, five, six, ten, twenty, seven, eight, nine. I want to do something for you, Jesus. What will it take to win a soul for you? Lord, tell me. Give me the wisdom to do it for you. I really want to do it. No matter what it is on my way. Oh God, what are the hindrances? Lord, I place them on your feet. God, guide me. This burden in our heart, oh God, help us. Father, help us. You said, cast all your burdens onto me and I will give you rest. Father, I need this rest. Take this burden, Lord, and turn it into action. Let it be done and let it be completed. Jesus, as you have visited me, you will visit my people also, Lord. Oh, the reason why you visited me, the reason why you have called me into righteousness and holiness is so that I can take it to Lord God to your people. Oh, Father, empower me. All those who will be saved. Oh, that the Lord Jesus said in his words. Those ones we want to reach them, oh God. Lead us to them. Lead us to them, Lord. Lead us to them, Lord. In the townships, in the villages, wherever they may be, God, lead us to them, oh God. In the name of Jesus. 
we will go. We are willing, O oh Lord. Who will go for us? Lord, we are saved. We are here. Send us. Men of Holiness Revival Movement, here in Europe, we are ready, God. Help us. Oh, yes, help us. And everyone with a body, oh, God, walk with them. Walk with them, Lord. And Enoch walked with God until God take him up. Father, may that be our portion in the name of Jesus. We want to continue to walk with you, oh God. Do your will, oh Lord. Those things that matter. In the name of Jesus. We are ready to go, Lord. We are ready. Help us. Lord, help us. Wonderful Father, help us. Glory to you, Lord. Many nations, oh God, in Europe that we want to go to, oh Father, take us there. Take us there. Open doors, we are asking for you, oh God. Open it. Open for us, oh Lord. Open for us, oh Lord. God. Point us to your people, Lord, in your own direction. So God, we will follow you. Oh yes, we want to win a soul. So I do want to win a soul. So oh God, show us the way. Wisdom for soul winning, Father, release it. Oh yes, release it. Spirit to God for this end time. Pour it down as you have promised, O Lord God, with signs and wonders, O Lord God, great things and miracles, O Lord, accompanying us, O Lord God, to prove your presence and that company. And your company, Lord, help us to honor you. Oh, Father Lord, every form of laziness, Lord, we destroy the spirit of laziness, procrastination. Father, we destroy it, oh Lord. That which stops us, oh God, from starting, from beginning to do it, oh God. Oh, Father, we hand them over to you. Crush them for us, oh Lord. Holy Ghost, crush them for us. We will do it tomorrow, we will do it tomorrow. Tomorrow doesn't come. Today is the tomorrow of yesterday. Today is the day of salvation. Right now is the acceptable time. Oh God, help us to begin. To begin, oh God. To begin, oh God. To begin, oh God. Oh, let the percentage of our time and life, oh God, be dedicated unto you. Our resources, oh God. We want to invest in the kingdom of heaven. Help us Lord, to prosper in it. Prosper our efforts. Make us fruitful and faithful. The year of fruitful evangelism. Lord, we want to have testimonies because of that. In the name of Jesus, wash 